Shout out to the UK. Um, my brothers over there in the UK, they went out in the masses and went out and supported uh, RPGs this weekend. Or last weekend, excuse me. I want to give them the utmost in respect and props for doing that. I, I will say the UK is officially the home of the PlayStation. The home of the PlayStation exclusive supporters. The UK, I would exclude you out uh, uh, of the, the Sony fanboy bashing for now. Uh, because it's nothing I can really say. You guys went out and supported. And, and, and all in all, that's all I ask for as gamers. As, as If we're going to go around and call ourselves the label of gamer, then, you know, we, we have to start supporting games. we got to start making excuses. You know, we're, we're, we're consistently coming, especially here in America, we're all we're putting these games on our list. We're putting the Tales of, we're putting the Dragon Quests, we're putting this, that, and the third on our list. But then when the sales charts come out, those games don't even make the top 10, top 20, top 30, top 40, you know? But here, the top 10 list, we are, um, we have what? Tells us Hysteria. Sorry if you guys can't see it, but I'm just going to read it off for you. I'll give you the link to the description. Tells us Hysteria that makes number 8. And not only that, number 2 was Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Now, Un Uncharted is not my cup of tea. I'm going to give Uncharted 4 a try. Uh, it, looks, it looks fun. But Uncharted 1 through 3, I, I kind of think it's the most overrated games I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Um, not only that, the game feels outdated, old, and the game's barely six years old. All three of those titles. Just not really my cup of tea. Not only that, it just doesn't bring me the more bang of my buck that I'm looking for. I mean, all three of those games combined is a deal, but at the time, one, I just wasn't, just wasn't digging it. Just wasn't my thing. I thought it was a little overhyped. Whatever. But... I am excited that you guys went out and supported the game, and, and it's making your top 10 list. It's number two, and it's, it's a Sony exclusive. By all means, I'm just happy that people are buying Sony exclusives. I'm tired of looking at top 10 list, and your list does look plethora with, with multi-plats, but I'm tired of these top 10 lists, of uh, uh, these multi-plats that everybody allegedly hates. I'm tired of the top 10 lists, but what's cool about your top 10 is that you have Lego Dimensions, in Lego Jurassic World, all those games beat just uh, Dragon Quest Heroes and whatever. <laughs> yeah, come on, I can't play Dragon Quest, the colors. But we can go out and support the Lego. Well, I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to attack here. I'm just trying to stay the true treatment. But you got the Grand Theft Autos. I don't know why that's at the top list. I didn't understand why Minecraft was at number 10. But I think the story mode came out for that, so that's understandable. Uh, Metal Gear, understandable. Destiny to Taken King, understandable. I think that's 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 some new shit. FIFA number one, understandable. I respect that. Oh come on, another sports. No, I, I I respect that. If you know motherfuckers from the UK or if you know guys from overseas, soccer is soccer is God. Let's see, the Sky Five made number twenty eighth position. That's pretty good. Only thing that really bothers me, and it's not a bad thing, but it just bothers me that Dragon Quest didn't make the top ten. Because when I was talking to my peoples, they were like, "Yo, Dragon Quest is hard to find. It's, 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 it's. I can't find it in those store shelves. This, that, and the third. And Dragon Quest only made number eighteen, so I thought it was the reason they couldn't find it was because it was being sold like hotcakes. But eighteenth is, it's not bad. But I wish it was on that top ten, man. Only thing that bothers me because I know. The Dragon Quest series caters their brand to the, the UK because they get all the UK voice actors. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm pretty sure Dragon Quest is going to sell better in the UK than it does here in the States. But it's really disappointing that it only made top 18. Fuck. That pisses me off. Damn it! But there's some heavy hitters in that top 10. You know, you got Minecraft, you got Metal Gear, you got Grand Theft Auto, you got Legos, Destiny... It was, you know, they got heavy hitters on that top 10. So there's no reason Dragon Quest should have made it. Game is lit. I've literally been playing this game. How many hours? I put, I've been playing but at least. I've been playing every single goddamn day. All day over the weekend. I, I couldn't stop playing. It was I was literally in a, in a zombified state playing this game. Because it was so goddamn fun. How many hours I put in this bad boy? Let's see real quick. Hold on real quick, guys. The controller's talking to me. That's hot, right? 
24 hours. Oh, the the, the auto save says 26 hours. So we're putting it over over 24 hours in this bad boy, and I barely even cracked the surface of the game. It's amazing. I'm level grinding, and like and, and, and the thing was, it was a moment where it clicked for me, and I just understood. Like man, this it, it was just a point like. It just hit me like, man, this game is fucking lit, man. It's dope. I, I like this game, the Sky of Five, uh, and Tales of. It's just like me playing these games, knowing that Finding Cl Fighting Climax for the PS3 is dope. Like me playing these games, uh, it's just giving me like flashbacks of me being a, a young Zobie seventy, and that's what Dragon. When I was playing Dragon Quest yesterday, it reminded me of the days. I remember it was a it was a time where there was a flood here in New Jersey, and like my father took me to GameStop. Love my father for this dearly, motherfucker. He drove me into in the in the in the on a flood to get the GameStop because GameStop was open. We called up, and they was like, "Oh, we open." And I don't know why they were still open during the flood, but we drove up to that motherfucker. It sounds weird, but I swear to God, the truth. We drove up. My dad bought me zombies ate my neighbors. Uh, uh, Zelda, Link to the Past, and Super Metroid, right? Uh, on my way back, my father picked up my boy, my best friend Shane, came back to my crib. The whole goddamn weekend, we was just playing. We was just We were playing the multiplayer on Z Zombies at My Neighbors. We were going to Zelda, Link to the Past. We were going to Metroid. We were going. We was like going back and forth between these games. And like it was just, it was just one of my greatest, one of my greatest gaming experiences, and that's how I feel right now. In the aspects of the month of October, and the aspects of going from the Sky of Five, I'm going from Dragon Quest. Tomorrow, Tales of Hysteria, and like those three games don't match up to the those those three games on the Super Nintendo. No way in in in, in the world. But it's just giving me flashbacks to that period of time. You know what I mean? And it's like, what's also dope. And I was having a discussion with my friends, and I wanted to talk about this in tomorrow's video. When I do my unboxing, I will bring it up again. Is that... Uh, my friend was saying that maybe Dragon Quest didn't make it because, you know, Tales of Stereo made it and things of that such. And, and whatever. And, like, the thing is, a lot of people believe that every Japanese game is the same. When it's not... The Tales of Sisterity is not like Dragon Quest Heroes. Dragon Quest Heroes is not like the Sky of Five. The Sky of Five is not like Dark Souls. Dark Souls is not like Metal Gear. You know what I'm saying? These Japanese games are so different in every way. Yes, it might be a type of a gar cartoony style and things of that such. But look, I mean, if you guys are graphic whores, like this camera alone or YouTube alone is not going to be able to show you how beautiful this goddamn game looks. The game is fucking beautiful. Look at this. I'm fucking gliding. You know what I'm saying, dude? This fucking stage is... You know what I mean? So, but people throw this whole, you know, graphics and 60 frames per second. If your, 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 your debate has been debunked. All of these games are just drastically different. All of them. I haven't met a similar Japanese game yet. And even if they do sequels to a fucking Final Fantasy game... Excluding the Final Fantasy 13, even but still, they're, they're, to the Final Fantasy game, it's drastically different in every single way. If you look at a Mario game, it's drastically different in every single way. But if you buy this is I'm, this is my last part of the video, and I'm gonna fucking go crazy. But if you buy an Assassin's Creed, it's just like Black Flag Syndicate, or it's just like Unity. If you buy Call of, Call of Duty, it's just like the fucking every single other one. If you buy Destiny, it, uh, whatever, not Destiny. If you buy, okay, Destiny, yes, it's just like fucking Halo, right? Be able to the Halo creators. If you buy a uh, uh, fucking Star Wars Battlefront, it's just like fucking Battlefield. If you guys are, you know, <sighs> but you know, I'm not allowed to be angry. I'm not about. To, I'm not allowed to be frustrated. But tomorrow's video will debunk the reason why I'm frustrated and angry. But anyway, the article ended off with this, and we'll leave the video at this. Uh, you know, will Assassin's Creed Syndicate be able to dethrone FIFA? Now, that pissed me off. Yet to this day have I seen Assassin's Creed gameplay. And then when I had to go fucking search for it, I looked at it, and it looked just like fucking the, the last Assassin's Creed before it, if not more streamlined for little Timmy to play.
And then I guarantee this guy that Assassin's Creed is going to sell like fucking milk cakes. Anyway, UK, thank you for going out and experimenting and trying something different. Trying something new. I hope you guys enjoyed Tales of Hysteria. I hope you guys enjoyed Dragon Quest Heroes. Literally right now, number two to my Bloodborne. Bloodborne was a motherfucker, man. This is too, This is good too. This is good too. I'm not saying this is bad because I think it's over it. But Bloodborne is number one. This is number two. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to give you guys a top ten list of, of ga Japanese games. Before the holiday season drops, there's a little Christmas stocking shuffle. To make, you know what I'm saying? Just in case you guys are looking for something a little different. After you've bought all the shitty ass games and you've been done with them over the weekend. And you still want to get some new games to try. I'm going to make a little top ten list for you guys to really enjoy. But anyway... The UK is king right now when it comes to uh, being actual PlayStation fanboys. Because if you look at the top 10 list, they got two. They got Uncharted, uh, number two. And they got um, Tells Us Hysteria. And Dragon Quest Heroes made the, made the top 20 at least. At least. But yeah, thank you guys. I, I appreciate that, UK. And uh, nothing but love and support, man. Nothing but love. And, and don't buy Assassin's Creed, please. Again, it's, come on, stop. You can't tell me what to do. Listen, don't buy it. I'm telling. It's going to be the same game as last year with the same bugs. Remember the bugs from last year that everybody was having? All right, well, I didn't have those bugs. So, you know, it explains me. Come on, stop it. People don't even know why they're buying these games anymore. They're so goddamn zombified. They're in such a zombified state. They don't even know why they're running out of ball on the Call of Duties. I mean, they know why, but I'm going to break it down in tomorrow's video. They, I know why, but tomorrow's video, I want to spoil for tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is going to be great. Watch tomorrow's video. It's going to be the unboxing for Tells of Hysteria. Watch that, because I'm going to break this shit down, and there's nothing you guys can say. only thing you guys can say is what you continue to say. Oh, I've lost so much respect for you, Zoe. How can you, you know what I mean? <laughs>